In this video, I'm going to share with you my new discovery of my keto rash and also my keto weight loss journey update. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. During my recent keto rash discovery around my butt crack, I finally decided to record down all my macros with every meal. And I have made a quite interesting discovery that could tie to the reappearing of my keto rash. I mean, that's still a hypothesis of this problem. But if my analogy is somewhat correct, please give a thumbs up and share those two are suffering with the keto rash like me. Now, on with the story. Choo choo! Before I start to share my discovery, I have to make a disclaimer that I am not a doctor and I have no idea if this is the real reason of my keto rash. So please don't think of it as a keto rash treatment video. Think of it as someone who's sharing a story of his butt problem. Hmm? I was probably like most of you out there who wanted to just hop on this keto trend but did not care so much about recording down macros every day. Because obviously, if we consume more fats than proteins and reduce carbs as much as possible, we would have get by with this keto diet easily, right? It's true, but it's not as easy to lose weight because fats have higher calories. So even if the ratio was correct, the calories would be much higher. I did not know that until I recorded down all my macros. Mm, what does it have to do with my keto rash? Hmm? Because by eating too much fats than you should could be the cause of keto rash. And this is the story that I'm about to share with you. It could be a lengthy one, so bear with me. Choo choo! Well, if you remember, I did a video on four potential reasons why I had keto rash. And of course, I'm going to link the video up and down below so you can check that out after this video. To sum it up, I think my keto rash reappearing was because of intermittent fasting plus the keto diet. It's the combination of the two. We know that intermittent fasting helps the body to heal itself and if you fast over 18 hours a day, your body would trigger the autophagy, which your cells will clean out the dead cells in the body and will replenish with much better cells. I think. What? Don't quote me on that. And if you're new to keto and you were eating tons of carbs before starting this diet, your bacteria in your body that would design it to only break down carbs will probably die all together to create a massacre in your body. Now, doing this massive change in the body. Remember keto diet is about producing ketones in ketosis and ketones have shifted to a better fuel source than carbs which require different type of cells to break down. And this is where it could be the trigger of my keto rash. I guess. Yes, I guess. I mean, there are two ways to explain this. One is to hit that subscribe button and the other one is to hit that like button. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. I'm going to share with you my macros that I have recorded per day and by looking at the macros, my fats were way high, high, higher than what the app suggests. Let's get back to the story. Just imagine all the new interns at the company are trying to figure out their task without someone's direction and they were probably messed up and in this case, maybe the new cells created from the keto diet are trying to break down huge amount of fats but did not really have the proper training. So they probably freaked out and they panic and it showed on your skin. In this case, my butt crack. Another reason using the same analogy, imagine you want to hit that subscribe button first and imagine all the new interns have some knowledge what their tests were, but all of a sudden the tests got doubled or even tripled so they did not know what to do. So they just piled them up. And so these new cells that were created to break down fats knew what they needed to do, but Looking at my macro, their workload was doubled, which half them overworked or maybe they couldn't finish, so they just stored it. And instead of storing it as carbohydrates, they stored it as rashes. I mean, this one is a stretch, but 
It makes sense to me, okay? So I put my body to a test and I decided to try consume closer to the fats that were suggested on the app to see if it'll calm down the keto rash. And it did. My keto rash is healing, although it did look like it's spreading a little, but it's turning brown and starting having this scaly skin, which is a recovery. Like I said, it's on my butt. <coughs> So I will not be able to show you, but if you want to see how the rash looked like on my hand before, I'll put the link above and down below. So in conclusion, keto rash could be something to do with the amount of fat you're consuming and the system change inside of your body at the same time. And to fix the problem, Recording your daily macros will probably help you to calm down the keto rash until the body is better adjusted. Okay, so here's my keto weight loss journey update. Choo choo! Since I know that I have consumed too much fat almost every day for the past couple weeks on this keto diet, last week was the first week I started to consume less fats, and the week started with 195 pounds. This morning I waited. I got down to 194 pounds, which like I said, it's a steady drop, which is pretty awesome. Well, what's next? For this coming week, I'll probably pause on working out until my keto rash is fully healed. And I'm still going to keep recording my meals every day with intermittent fasting. So if there's new update, definitely let you know. On that note, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. I have a trick for measuring my food. Basically, instead of weighing it every single time, try to find a same container that you want to put your food in and use that all the time to weigh the same exact food. And after that, you'll probably know whether you want to consume more of it or less of it after weighing in for the first time. Well, of course, it won't be accurate, but it's not going too far off if you're eating the same food every day, right? I mean, that's if you are eating the same food every day.